AITA for telling my SIL and BIL that they shouldn't be indulging in luxuries if they're so broke all the time. The people in my story are my wife's sister and her husband. We all hang out regularly and hearing them complain about finances is a regular thing. In person and on Facebook, they're constantly seeking pity for how broke they are and refuse to admit that they're capable of making mistakes. The world is out to get them always. They're low income and aren't doing anything to make more money. They've turned down opportunities to make more because of the jobs would require too much effort. They've also been sued for refusing to pay bills and loans. They have a nine-year-old daughter who regularly gets the shaft on birthdays and Christmas because, sorry we're too broke, here's some cheap as you don't want, while they splurge on themselves. My wife and I find this behavior disgusting. They recently got their internet shut off due to non-payment and said they can't afford it due to the holidays. I'm confused about that because they didn't buy many gifts for anyone, but whatever. The same night, they had a couple bottles of Crown which aren't cheap, two pizzas that were 20 plus bucks a pop, and complained about how their Hulu subscription now costs like zero. On top of Hulu, I know they also have Netflix, HBO, Cinemax and Showtime. None of this is really my business. Normally I just cringe but keep comments to myself. But, my SIL has a history of trying to guilt my wife into giving her money when they struggle. She also knows I just got a significant raise on top of a 000 bonus. And since we didn't want to give them money to get their internet turned back on and didn't want to take them all out to eat the next night, she said, Y'all really like to watch family struggle, don't you? This pissed me off, and I told her that maybe they shouldn't be indulging in luxuries such cable, multiple streaming services, along with expensive liquor, and eating out several days a week and that I could help them budget. I also said she shouldn't have turned down the job that paid significantly more than what she makes now just because it required more work and training. She immediately went red and told me to shut the F up because what they buy is none of our business. She said I'm judgmental, that I should want to help family, that I wouldn't know what it's like because I never had to struggle and that since they work they deserve to buy what they want. My wife agrees with me 100%. Some people say we should want to help out. Others said it's fine to say no but I shouldn't have said what I said since it's not my business. AITA? NTA? In a way. It kinda is your business if they're asking you for the money. I'd like to know where my money is going if I was just going to give it away, family or not. Plus I'd imagine all the pity begging for money gets annoying after seeing their excessive spending habits. NTA. You and your wife should stop discussing money with them. Quote, Jurassic Park. I am sorry for your financial problems, but they are your problem and repeat it until they shut up. Do not give them money or take them out. Maybe do a nice thing or two for the kid, but that is it. NTA. It's not your business until they made it your business by asking you for money and making comments about how you enjoy watching them struggle. You don't owe them a lifestyle that they themselves are unwilling to train and work to earn it for themselves. It would be different if they were in some way unable to achieve the basics for living. That's not the case here. They are TA for expecting to live off the hard work of others and for being unwilling to sit down and learn how to budget to plan for the life that they have. NTA If they are complaining about being broke and asking for a handout, then they are inviting your opinion. Don't complain about money if you aren't prepared for advice. NTA you would be the asshole if you said that unprompted but she was literally asking you to cover bills of theirs because they can't be bothered to be responsible, therefore making it your business. Also, no, you don't deserve to buy whatever you want when you have a child that you need to be providing for. NTA. You have helped them out, 
and I imagine that you've been biting your tongue and trying to be non-judgmental for years now. Family helps, family, but you're not required to support them, and they're not entitled to expect it. Seems to me that hearing some hard truths is well overdue for those two. I do hope you're able to treat your niece now and then, though. She shouldn't have to suffer because her parents are irresponsible idiots, and she may very well end up learning from their mistakes. NTA it sounds good that you said something. In the future though you and your wife need to keep it yourselves when you get a raise or bonus. And talk to your wife privately and make sure she does not loan her sister any money because it only enables them to make bad choices. I think ESH. Somehow in-laws know that OP got a raise and exactly how much of a Christmas bonus? Why are you even talking about that with them? Don't talk about money with them, and they won't be asking you for funds when they are low. Don't lend them money. If they want to work less and not have enough to pay cable and buy their kid presents, that's their problem. If everyone keeps their financials to themselves, there's nothing to fight about. Your wife agrees with you. Why are you even asking Reddit? Do you really think you're the asshole here? Stop seeking validation and contributing to the plummeting quality of this sub. Info. How did they know you got a raise and a bonus? Hulu costs zero? Since when? I thought it was like ten bucks a month. NTA she made it your business by wanting some of your money. NTA, when my wife and I bought our first house we collectively made about 10k. Not bad, but we also had a fair amount of debt and were now house poor. Her brother, mom and dad trade in their Chevy and four New Year vehicles every year and just keep rolling over the debt into their new loans. Keep in mind those vehicles are around 0k plus. Around this time my wife and I were driving an 88 Toyota truck and her 96 Camry. We get a call from her mom, your brother wants to get a house and wants to borrow k. Nope. Also, her brother had previously declared bankruptcy and owed her 00 from when she was a teenager. She literally got a letter in the mail saying that he added that to her bankruptcy and would not be getting it back. Don't loan money to friends or family that you expect to get repaid, ever. NTA, judgmental, her finances, her business. Your finances, your business. What they buy is none of your business and what you make is none of their business. Guild trips can be annoying but you don't have to take them. NTA. When I was younger, my uncle and his wife would ask my parents for money all the time. My parents didn't make a whole lot, but would still give them some money here and there. Until my dad got in their car and saw tons of McDonald's bags and scratch-offs. I used to give my sister a few hundred here or there for my niece's expenses, daycare, diapers, new CPs. She would always pay me back, but I was upset when she asked me for money and then posted on social media that she was going to a concert and went out for drinks and had gotten a new tattoo. I stopped loaning her more than zero at a time. Our money is our own business and nobody else's. We are free to give it. We feel the situation warrants it and we are free to deny others requests if we feel we are being taken advantage of. You are never TA for not letting people take advantage of your generosity anymore. This is so clearly karma horn and it pisses me off. Depends how you said it, but offering to help set up a budget was a nice gesture though clearly could be taken poorly. NTA NTA, I once told someone who was complaining about money that cigarettes and alcohol aren't necessities and about got my head taken off. People get really defensive about their vices. Nta, 
If someone is broke and occasionally splurges on luxuries, I don't think that's a problem at all. Poor people deserve to have a break sometimes too. Like if it was just the occasional beer or pizza once in a while, it's say fair enough because. But this behavior and the selfishness of putting themselves before their kids is honestly gross, and trying to guilt trip money out of family is just not cool, man. I know people financially well off who don't allow themselves the luxury of that many streaming services. My evil in-laws are stupid, nasty, and lazy. They told me to give them money, and I told them no. But I'd be willing to help them in other ways if they'd like. They told me to lick their taints. Literally every person I've ever talked to about this has said I was in the right. But my coworker's second cousin psychic thought my tone of voice bordered on stiff. A I T A. N T A. They gotta learn to solve their own s. Shame the daughter is in the middle. NTA, I rule in favor of judgmental. NTA and judgmental is my new band name. NTA, you were trying to give advice and tips, but they got angry. However, maybe next time you should try to say it in a nicer way. If you said it nicely, then definitely NTA. NTA, your SIL needed to hear a little reality. Disturbing that they can't connect constantly short of money with constantly spending on frivolous s. NTA, validation post. Am I the asshole for telling people that beg money from me to stop blowing their money on booze and luxuries? Am I allowed to tell people the truth? NTA. It is your business if they're asking you for money for their bills when they spend their money on unnecessary things. Why do you think why people keep saying they made it your business when they ask for money? WTF? No, they did not. OP can just decline to help and leave it at that. Op's reaction was rude for the sake of being rude, and that makes him T E. If it is an ongoing problem. Then it sounds like you or your wife need to talk with them about how it makes you uncomfortable when they ask for money or distance yourselves from the relationship for a while. There was no need to angrily confront them about your opinions on their spending habits. This feels like a case where everyone is saying NTA because they agree with ups one-sided and likely not fully informed assessment of their situation. That doesn't mean he wasn't TA in his delivery. Why da? Just don't loan them money if you don't want to. Family is tough sometimes. Good luck, op. Nta. Also, how is their Hulu bill zero a month? Mine is. When your sil asked for your help, she made her spending your business. Nta. Nta. It becomes your business if they are asking you for money. It isn't if they are getting by. Once they opened the can of worms, it's a go. NTA. NTA. They are irresponsible and s with money. You offer good advice. Yeah. Do not give them money. NTA. NTA. USIL brought this up with her complaining and her comment about you watching her struggle. Now you know they certainly don't want advice, so you can just ignore their comments in the future. It's 100% okay to not help them out financially. I wouldn't. NTA, it was not your business until they made it your business. When they asked you for money to pay for their needs, you were also given the right to comment on the difference between needs and wants. Just because they're spoiled and lazy does not mean they're owed your money. If they want to be left alone about their money, then maybe they should keep their money problems to themselves and fix their own house. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to get more of the best posts.